everyone. My name is Terry Seacrest, Diamond with Young Living, and we are just so excited and thrilled and honored to have you all join us tonight. Tonight's teaching on the cardiovascular system is going to be one of the most in-depth and I believe uh, just very inspiring teachings of just how effective Young Living products are for the cardiovascular system. With me this evening is Christina Campbell and Pamela Hyen, and uh, these ladies are the, the, uh, the engine behind this PowerPoint. They have done a masterful job, and I just want to announce that we've been discussing these other PowerPoints that are available on crowndiamondtools.com. So that's where you'll go to get your own copy of these PowerPoints so that you can be very, very professional in your home presentations and your public presentations. So please um, look for that. And also please go to our team website, which is www.letsnetworktogether.com. That's let's, L-E-T-S, networktogether.com. And what you'll do is you will click on the word media, and then you will look for, you'll scroll to the right, and you will look for whichever webinar you are most interested in so you can learn more. And this is also going to be a great tool for you. I just want to encourage you also to have these in your library uh, because I don't think I've ever seen anything more professional. So let's get started. And uh, Christina and Pamela, I, I just want to honor you for the work you've done on this cardiovascular system. This is really, really spectacular. Thank you so much, ladies. Well, thank you so much, Terry. And we're proud to be here and happy to be able to train um, the people who really, you know, that we get such great responses from those that are listening and watching our webinars. And they're just really grateful that they have an opportunity to get trained. And so uh, what we've noticed, Pam and I, that the the more we do, the better we get. So we're very proud of the yeah. Cardiovascular Health Prevention Series Plus, and we are um, slowly but surely getting each one of these recorded. And what's going to happen is Sound Concepts is going to have available to you each one of these individually. We just recorded bones last week, and we have recorded skin today, and we're recording uh, digestion on Wednesday. And as they get them burned and they're... Um, their CD holders made, then they'll provide them uh, for purchase on, Sound, on Crown Diamond Tools individually. And then once they're all finished, they're going to put them together as a series at a reduced price uh, so that you can get the whole series. And we're hoping to have them all available by convention. So we're real excited. So let's get started. This is what you're going to learn tonight. You're going to learn the importance of heart health, what part the heart plays in our circulatory system, inflammation and how it affects our heart, how to support the heart, lifestyle and a healthy heart, and steps to improve your heart health. Christina, we have not seen that slide yet on our screen. Oh. Now it's up. We can see it now. Thank you. Okay. Well, I apologize. So let's just, uh, should I read that through again, Terry? Oh, no. You're fine. Okay. You're absolutely fine. Well, <clears throat> can you see the following screen? Um, currently, we're still on what you will learn. There you go. Circulatory system. Okay. Great. All right. I think there's just a bit of a delay. All right. This is the circulatory system. And Pam found a great picture depicting the circulatory system and showing that it includes functions of the heart, arteries, and veins. This is a network that delivers blood with each heartbeat, carrying oxygen and nutrients to all the cells of the body. This is our body's lifeline. There's pulmonary and there's systemic circulation. The pulmonary circulation is a short loop from the heart to the lungs and then back again. The systemic circulation sends blood from the heart to all other parts of the body and then it comes back again. So 
So the heart, the term cardiac, as in cardiology, means related to the heart. This is the most vital organ in the human body. It's a muscular organ that provides continuous circulation of blood through that cardiac cycle. And it's about the size of a fist. It weighs approximately 9 to 11 ounces in females and 11 to 12 ounces in males. The average human heart beats approximately 72 times per minute and approximately 2.5 billion times during an average 66-year lifespan. So hopefully we're going to get a heck of a lot more heartbeats there because we're going to live a lot longer than 66 years. So here's a beautiful picture of the heart pumping. It's acting as a double pump. The right side collects the deoxygenated blood, and then the left side collects the oxygenated blood. It pumps blood through blood vessels to body tissues by repeated rhythmic contractions, delivering oxygen and nutrients and removing wastes. Circulation of the blood keeps body tissues at proper temperature. And did you know that heart disease is the number one cause of death in the Western world? Let's talk a bit about the arteries, veins, and capillaries, which also make up the cir circulatory system, arterial and venous system. Arterias, arter arteries excuse me, carry blood away from the heart, and blood seeps and flows back through the heart to be repumped through the veins. The large aorta artery branches into small arteries called arterioles. And arterioles lead into the smallest blood vessels called capillaries. Capillaries are the starting point for the return of the blood to the heart. So let's just take a brief look at some of the circulatory disorders. Myocarditis. This is inflammation or degeneration of the heart muscle. Some of the symptoms Christina, if you can hear me, um, I am not able to hear you. This is Terry. If anyone is unable to hear Christina, could they please send us a note on the right side of your screen? I did, Terry. And it looks like we're having audio difficulties, it says, it's telling us. Okay. I don't know if Christina can, she must be able to hear us. Unmuted. Somebody muted me. Could someone tell us if they could hear Terry or Pamela? You're all unmuted. I, I just have to, Can you hear me now? We can hear you now, but we lost a lot. We didn't hear that entire slide. Right. I haven't even started this slide. Um, somebody muted me for some reason, and so now I'm unmuted, and so we're just going to start this slide again. Okay, so this is myocarditis. This is inflammation or degeneration of the heart muscle. Some of the symptoms are fever, chest pains, palpitations, difficult or labored breathing, and fatigue. Causes are complication during or after various viral, bacterial, or parasitic infectious diseases. For example, polio, influenza, rubella, or rheumatic fever. There is no specific treatment in conventional, me conventional Western medicine for myocarditis at this time. Prevention is the key. And we should actually be thinking about prevention for, for every aspect of our health, shouldn't we? Another 
<clears throat> cardiovascular disease is angina pectoris. These are chest pains behind the breastbone. Some of the symptoms are increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, chest pain, burning in the throat, feelings of indigestion, shortness of breath, and primary, the primary symptom of coronary artery disease. Causes are vasoconstricting medications, emotional stress, atherosclerosis is the leading cause of angina. Angina pectoris is Latin for squeezing of the chest, so that's what it would feel like, kind of a squeezing of the chest. Let's talk a little bit about high blood pressure, especially since that seems to be one of the common <clears throat> uh, things that people are medicated for nowadays with blood pressure medication, and then they're given a water pill, and then they're given a pill for cholesterol. This is, a high blood pressure is um, force exerted by circulating blood in the blood vessels, and it's estimated that over 60 million Americans have high blood pressure, and 35% of them don't even know that they have it. It directly increases the risk of heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. Blood pressure can be improved through behavior modifications, life-changing diet, and exercise, especially exercising, you know, maybe three times a week. Try that. Known as the silent killer, there really aren't any symptoms, but the causes are stress, high-fat diet, lack of exercise, medications, physical abnormalities, chronic diseases, and birth control pills can lead to high blood pressure as well. Atherosclerosis. This is a buildup of fatty material in the coronary artery that causes narrowing and decrease in the flow of blood. Some of the symptoms are shortness of breath, tightening pain in the chest. No symptoms may be visible until complication occurs, but the causes, again, are diet. Stress. Stress seems to be a, a common denominator here. Lack of exercise, another common denominator. And it is our lifestyle that's lending to this. Because, you know, many of us sit in an office chair all day long and we're in front of a, uh, a, a computer screen or um, maybe, maybe we're doing things, you know, at a desk with our hands, but we're not really getting out there and doing gardening and that type of thing. Uh, other causes could be smoking, and this is the most common form of heart disease. It is the most progressive, and it de develops in any artery in the body. Arterial sclerosis is a little bit different than atherosclerosis in that this is the hardening or loss of elasticity of small arteries and is associated with hypertension and or diabetes. Some of the symptoms are shortness of breath angina or chest pain, fatigue, abnormal heartbeat. Symptoms may not manifest until complications occur, but the causes, again, are stress, high cholesterol, which could be um, brought on by diet, but it could also be brought on by chlorinated beverages, chlorinated water, and we know that if we're drinking, you know, sodas and that type of thing, all of those have chlorine in them. Obesity can be a uh, cause, smoking, high blood pressure, and high blood sugar. Stroke. This is the sudden death of brain cells in a localized area due to inadequate blood flow. The symptoms might be sudden change in vision, numbness of the face, weak arms or legs, weakness on one side of the body, you might get disoriented, slurred speech, or trouble understanding others, trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance or coordination, painful headache that comes on suddenly and has no known cause. Causes are atherosclerosis, high blood pressure, lack of oxygen, or a combination of all three. Medications may increase the risk, and there are two types of strokes. One, of, one is ischemic, or ischemic, excuse me, and the other is hemorrhagic stroke. And um, a transient 
ischemic attack is usually called a TIA, and this is uh, known as a mini stroke. And it might only last for a few minutes, but it can cause damage in the brain. So let's talk a little bit about these two types of strokes. The ischemic stroke is a blockage of blood flow to the brain and includes two types. The thrombotic strokes are strokes caused by a thrombus or a blood clot that develops in the arteries supplying blood to the brain. The embolic, embolic strokes often result from heart disease or heart surgery and occur rapidly and without any warning signs. On the other hand, hemorrhagic strokes this is, happens when a blood vessel in the brain leaks or is broken and includes two types, the intracerebral hemorrhage, hemorrhage, it's usually caused by hypertension, high blood pressure, and bleeding occurs suddenly and rapidly. And then there's the subarachnoid hemorrhage resulting when bleeding occurs between the brain and the meninges in the subarachnoid space. So those are the two types of stroke there. The deep th vein thrombosis. This is a formation of a blood clot inside a blood vessel. It's, it causes obstruction of the flow of blood through the circulatory system, and it happens most often in the arms and in the legs. The symptoms would be swelling, very warm to the touch, redness, pain, discomfort, weakness in that limb, loss of sensation in the affected area. The causes are slow blood flow, inactivity, obesity, aging could cause it, uh, blood clotting too easily. Chemotherapy could cause um, blood clotting or birth control pills. Inherited blood disorders, could I, you could have a blood clotting disorder or blood vessel damage, like injury uh, to a blood vessel, or broken bones that would cause injury to the blood vessel, or surgery, or atherosclerosis. <clears throat> so now we're going to introduce some therapeutic essential oils for your cardiovascular health. Let's first talk a little bit about antioxidants and radical scavenging activities of essential oils. Free radicals, and you've heard us talk about these before, but they're triggered by several factors. Pollution, chlorine, normal metabolic processes, stress, x-rays, and poor diet. You know, when Gary talks about um, the things that cause us ill health. He always says it's the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food that we eat. And I think we've included all of those things in these factors. Several diseases connected with the heart are associated with the accumulation of free radical activity. Antioxidants in the blood, cells, and tissue fluids play an important role in neutralizing the normal level of oxidative damage caused by these free radicals. Many essential oils are tested, have been tested, and were found to have very high antioxidant activity. Active antioxidant compounds in therapeutic grade essential oils are oxygenated monoterpenoids, monoterpene hydrocarbons, as well as phenols. And you know, if you haven't ever gotten yourself the um, chemistry of essential oils by Dr. David Stewart, he helps you in lay terms to really understand what these monoterpenoids and, and uh, phenols and monoterpenes can do in the body. It's, it's a fabulous book. So let's start out with uh, talking about Aroma Life. Now this is one that my husband uses every single day over his heart. This will strengthen the cardiovascular system. It revitalizes the heart. It improves overall circulation. It lowers blood pressure naturally, and you can test this. You can take your blood pressure, if you have a blood pressure um, machine at home, and after you've cuffed yourself, you've taken your blood pressure, you've written down the numbers, uh, remove the cuff, put a couple of drops of Aroma Life over your heart, just rub it in. 
and then wait about 20 minutes. And then recuff yourself and take your blood pressure again and see if there isn't a difference. Every time I've ever done this with either a family member, my own mother, a friend, or um, a client, it brings their blood, sh blood, um, their blood pressure to normal. So this also helps to alleviate stress, and we're going to see why. There's some beautiful oils in here. It balances heart function. It regenerates smooth muscle tissue. It's a diuretic, and it calms nervous tension. Again, the application typically is right over the heart, and you can also put it on the heart Vitaflex points. You can add it to bath water, and I like to use it with the uh, non unscented belt, uh, gel base. And you can diffuse this and inhale it. Um, it contains the essential oils of cypress, which increases circulation. Marjoram, which is great for regenerating smooth muscle tissue. Heliochrysum, which is very good for overall circulation, strengthening the cardiovascular. And ylang-ylang, which is a natural blood pressure lowering essential oil. It's fabulous. So here we are with one of the single oils that make up the aroma life, and this is heliochrysum. Heliochrysum is an anticoagulant. It also alleviates hypertension. It has the ability to dissolve blood clots. It supports the circulatory system, and it actually can dissolve and reduce plaque inside arteries. Those carotid arteries on either side of the neck, I've met a lot of, many people who have actually been to the doctor and the doctors told them that from some test they were found to have maybe 60 percent blockage or 40 percent blockage or even as high as 90 plus percent blockage and so what they do is they go in and they kind of in lay terms they kind of rotor root those carotid arteries to get that plaque out of there and I'm here to tell you that heliochrysum, just rubbed on those carotid arteries uh, daily, can help to reduce the plaque inside those arteries. It's also very healing for varicose veins, for arterial sclerosis, and for atherosclerosis. It helps to reduce blood stickiness, and it helps to regulate blood cholesterol. And different applications can be on location, again, on the heart Vitaflex points on the bottom of the feet. You can diffuse this or inhale it. And you can take it as a dietary supplement as well. Scientific research on heliochrysum. Research has shown that a ketone in heliochrysum oil binds to the cholesterol transporters in the blood. It reduces cholesterol levels in the blood as well as fats in blood arteries and the liver. This particular oil might contain rutin, which reduces the cytotoxicity of oxidized LDL cholesterol. It also contains antioxidants, which alleviate inflammation, and it is a free radical scavenger. And here's some of the uh, research that uh, Pam has put together based on um, what we were saying there above. Now, clove oil is the highest antioxidant oil known to man right now. It's an anticoagulant again. So these are blood thinning oils. Um, very, very good for keeping the blood viscosity at normal, not having to worry about um, blood clots. It's anti-inflammatory. It's superior cardiovascular support. It prevents cell damage, and it protects the blood plasma from re free radical damage much like the heliochrysum, but because of its high antioxidant properties, it's even more effective for free radical damage. Lemongrass is one that we use in our house to lower blood cholesterol. It dilates the blood vessels, it strengthens capillaries to reduce varicose veins, and it improves circulation. What we do is we take 10 to 20 drops in a double op capsule daily as a dietary supplement. The Department of Nutritional Sciences at the University of Wisconsin findings were published in the Journal of Lipid in 1989, and according to the Dean Coleman website, after three months, cholesterol levels among the responders had decreased by a significant 38 points. When the participants of the studies study stopped taking lemongrass, 
cholesterol levels return to their previous levels. So you can put it over your heart, you can diffuse it and inhale it, but I would recommend uh, or suggest that you might think about taking lemongrass internally on a daily basis. Now we know that some of our oils, in, um, our, our oil capsules do include lemongrass, but you're really getting it uh, in, a, in a good dose with 20 drops in a double capsule. Marjoram, of course, very, very good for providing smooth muscle support. The National Research Center in Cairo, Egypt, has concluded that marjoram essential oil has a significant potential to be used as a natural antioxidant. So again, we have those free radical fighters. Uh, marjoram is also a relaxant, and what was one of the common threads with these cardiovascular diseases? Stress. Stress. It's also, so it calms the nerves, it dilates and widens the blood vessels, so we have plenty of room for that blood flow. It helps to lower blood pressure because it's helping to relieve that stress being a relaxant. It improves circulation, it's a diuretic, and it relieves spasms. I love marjoram. This is one that every massage oil, uh, massage therapist should have in her arsenal, um, especially if you come in and you're telling her that you know, you might have some cardiovascular uh, challenges. <clears throat> Again, you can put this over the heart, you can diffuse it, you can put it on Vitaflex points on the bottom of the feet, and you can take mar marjoram as a dietary supplement by all means. We even cook with marjoram, so um, no surprises there. I'd like to mention cypress and rosemary. Cypress is one of our favorites here because of its ability to improve circulation. Now I use um, Cyprus in the summertime with a lot of my clients who have edema in their ankles and uh, sluggish circulation in the summertime. It strengthens blood capillaries, so it's also very good for reducing the varicose veins and discouraging fluid retention like edema. It's very grounding, it's very calming. Again, we're wanting to get out of the stress uh, wheel, you know, we're just, we're like those hamsters that are constantly running and we need to just calm down, get ourselves grounded, and Cypress is also an antispasmodic. Rosemary increases arterial and peripheral circulation. It is said to promote the circulation of energy in the body. It's highly detoxifying, it's a diuretic, and it's generally fortifying to the body. Applications may include massaging toward the center of the body. And when I uh, massage my client's ankles, I'm always massaging upward toward the heart. You can also put these oils on um, the heart Vitaflex points or diffuse them or inhale them. And they also may be taken as a dietary supplement. Here's a, here's a case study. And I actually took this out of the Integrative Aromatic Medical uh, Symposium Guide, which if you haven't gotten these books, um, I think I got them from YL Wisdom a couple of conventions ago, and they are phenomenal as far as case studies. And this particular case study was one done by um, Shirley Price. <clears throat> I take that back. This is from the Aromatherapy for Health Professionals by, by Shirley Price. Um, sorry for that. Uh, and it's on lymphedema. This was a woman, her name was Pam, and she had suffered with swollen legs and ankles for many years. Her wounds were taking a very long time to heal. She was referred to a circulatory specialist, and she was diagnosed with lymphedema, and he was sympathetic to the use of essential oils in her treatment. Uh, I believe this, this took place in England, so uh, we can only hope and pray that our doctors become more sympathetic to the use of essential oils in treatment. The treatment consisted of a leg massage carried out weekly for about eight weeks and was given a blend of oil to use twice daily to increase the circulation and assist in drainage of the lymphatic system. The following oils were used both in the clinic and at home. Eight drops of rosemary, eight drops of cypress, six drops of lemongrass, and eight drops of Roman chamomile. These were put in a carrier oil of sweet almond, passion flower, and evening primrose, and this was the outcome. Over the eight weeks of treatment, Pam reported that after each one of her legs, after that, each one of her legs felt much lighter and calmer. They did not ache as much, and there was great improvement in the quality and the texture of her skin. The blemished 
areas cleared up quickly and the lumps disappeared. Her legs remain in good health. So you see, we don't have to take medications and we don't have to, um, you know, do things that might actually have side effects. We can use things that are very uh, non-evasive and soothing and um, health promoting. Okay, I'd like to talk about ylang-ylang. Ylang-ylang uh, is one of the oils that I mentioned to be the number one oil in reducing high blood pressure. Uh, it's antispasmatic. It's vasodilating, which means it widens the blood vessels. It's anti-inflammatory. It's able to regulate heartbeat. It's, it's supportive to cardiac problems. It reduces anxiety and stress, and it alleviates hypertension. It's also known as an adaptogen, which means that it can help in normalize body function. In other words, if you have low blood pressure, it can bring it back up to normal. And if you have high blood pressure, it will bring it down to normal. So that's what some of the oils can do. They, they are actual adaptogens. Applications can include on location, on the heart Vitaflex points. You can diffuse it or inhale it. And it may be taken as a dietary supplement as well. So here's a couple of testimonials. Uh, this one's by Mitzi Smith out of Texas, and she said, I had a heart attack many years ago, and I'm under the care of a cardiologist. He wants me to carry nitroglycerin pills with me, which I don't want to do. But I do have sometimes rapid or pounding heartbeat. Recently, I was experiencing palpitations at night for almost a week when I started taking cardiac care. The change was noticeable right away. I had less tightness in my chest, and the pounding when I laid down to sleep improved immediately. And here's another one by Michelle from California. She states, a friend was in the hospital with severe arterial sclerosis. She, this person had one leg amputated and was expecting to have angioplasty to the other leg to improve circulation on that limb. He was extremely ill. His whole body was full of disease and also very depressed from the loss of his leg. I started using Aroma Life on him every few days. Also, some peppermint, some trauma life for the shock, and some others as needed. The day he was supposed to have the surgery, I came to his room, and he was sitting up eating. The surgery was not done because the doctor said the body had healed itself. Wow, that is a pretty awesome testimonial. And I think at this time, Terry, I'm just going to kind of give you the reins. You want to drive for a while? <laughs> Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for that wonderful, wonderful presentation of oils. My goodness. So now let's move on to supplements for a healthier heart. And, oh, I, we were just talking, a couple of us today, and just expressing our gratitude to God for the Young Living Supplements because they have just helped all of our lives so much. So moving into cardiac care, which increases cardiovascular efficiency, it reduces blood pressure. It contains powerful nutrient CoQ10. It dilates coronary blood vessels, prevents oxidative damage, which causes heart disease and clogged coronary arteries. It helps regulate cholesterol, helps the stickiness of the blood, supports smooth muscle of the heart, and regulates the heartbeat. Beautiful supplement. <clears throat> And, you know, let's not wait till we have a problem. Let's use these on a proactive prevention so that we don't get heart problems. Okay, Omega Blue, oh, my goodness, our family really goes through a lot of this because just being a human being, and especially being a woman, um, my husband takes it as well, we want to get these wonderful, very pure, pure fish oils into us. So this helps us to maintain healthy cholesterol levels. It prevents inflammation, protects our cardiovascular system. It's an antioxidant. It supports our heart. The omega-3s have proven significant in reducing the blood pressure. So a recommended dosage of no less than 600 milligrams of omega-3. One serving is three capsules of omega blue meets the recommended minimum daily use. But notice also on the bottom here, the oils in this supplement, we've got lemongrass, myrrh, clove bud, and German chamomile. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. So just think of all these wonderful oils we're getting internally with this supplement. Terry, I'd like to add something to this because just the other day, um, Dr. Oz was on, and I don't know if anybody else watches him, but I think he's got some fabulous things to say. And he was talking about omegas. And he was saying that the fish oil is far superior to the flaxseed oil because of mm -hmm. the EPA yeah. and the DHA. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. The EPA and the DHA uh, in, yes. in the omegas. So we're doing the yes. right thing. We are doing the right yes, thing. That is, that is excellent. And this product, I really encourage all of you to refrigerate it, the omegas. Just keep it in your refrigerator because you want to keep it very, very fresh. All right, moving on to mineral essence. My goodness, this is such a great formula. We all know that minerals are an integral function of our bodies. Minerals attach to enzymes to help them work properly. Minerals are required for contraction of muscle fiber, and they're imperative for a healthy heart. The magnesium found in mineral essence aids in blood vessel dilation and heart rhythm. The potassium found in mineral essence aids in nerve and muscle function of the heart. This product balances the electrolytes in the blood, and there are over 60 ionic minerals in mineral essence. Without minerals, vitamins cannot be assimilated or absorbed into the body. And, you know, coming from a region in America that is a farming region, it's critical that we are aware that the soil in this country does not have the minerals that we had in it 100 years ago. So even if we eat totally an organic diet, we still want to consider supplementing our diet with minerals. Moving on to Super B, this is a great product as well. It helps to lower our cholesterol. It protects the heart and the blood, vessel, uh, blood vessels, prevents heart disease, and this is a comprehensive source of the B vitamins essential for good health. Rahimogen. Oh, I love this. This is something that we've used a lot um, with my husband, Randall, when he went through his traumatic brain injury and was forced to take a lot of drugs in the hospital. We used this to clean out his blood. So this is a tincture which contains herbs used by Native Americans to cleanse, purify, disinfect, and build the blood. It fights free radicals and supports the red blood cells and the immune system. And Darlene Winner, uh, she just testifies that my granddaughter has ITP. It's a virus in the spleen that pretends to be a blood plat platelet, causing her to bleed internally. She could actually bleed to death. She had to have blood transfusions all the time. Back in the mid-90s, we started her on multigreens and rahimogen, and she no longer has this problem. She came to visit one time and ran out because she was doing so good, she decided to wait to order more until she got home. That was a mistake because she had to have a transfusion. So she's never without either one of these now. MegaCal, wonderful product. This product supports vascular and circulatory health. It regulates normal heart rhythm it ensures that the heart and blood vessels function normally. It's a wonderful source of calcium, magnesium, manganese, and vitamin C. And it helps maintain blood viscosity. Now, a little bonus on MegaCal. Now, this is a powder. And just a little bonus for those of you that uh, need something like this. When you have any kind of a problem sleeping at night, and you'll take a, a little, there's a scoop that comes inside of this, uh, this container. Take a scoop or two in some warm water, and I am here to vouch for you that you will sleep like a baby. It's just a beautiful formulation. Okay, HRT. Oh, Christina, have I got a story about HRT, but I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell everyone about it first. 
Well, we know that it strengthens our entire vascular system, nourishes our heart, promotes heart health, supports circulation, improves heart function. It protects and stimulates the heart muscle. So you'll notice here that the recommended dosage is one to three droppers three times daily in distilled water or as needed. Now the power in this, as you'll notice on the bottom here, are the essential oils of lemon, rosewood, ylang-ylang, and cypress. So Pam and Christina, I had a client that had gone through two um, heart bypass surgeries and she would go to her cardiologist and he would check her heart and he would say to her, you know, there's just very little improvement. So this beautiful little lady was in her 70s and she called me and asked if we might have anything in the way of essential oils that could help her. So I encouraged her to try Aroma Life Blend, HRT Tincture, and Cardia Care Supplement. She received her order and 10 days later she called me all excited. And I said, what's going on? And she said, I just got home from the cardiologist and he was listening to my heart and he said, what are you doing? What are you doing? Your heart's improving. This is fantastic. So I said to this lady, tell me exactly how you've been using these three products in the last 10 days. She said, actually, I've only been using one of them so far, and that would be HRT. I said, great, so I'm assuming you're taking it in water. She said, no, all I've been doing is rubbing it on the bottoms of my feet. <laughs> <laughs> and can you imagine? He wasn't even taking it internally yet. Just merely by rubbing this product on the bottoms of her feet, the cardiologist was noticing a great improvement. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I love it. So what a great story. Okay, this is probably one of the most exciting things we can do to nourish, support, and strengthen our cardiovascular system. And this is our powerful antioxidant drink, Ningxia Red. You know, we call it a superfood. Some people say it's the most nutrient-dense food in the world today. This product will lower our blood pressure. It's a rich source of antioxidants. It reduces cholesterol and triglycerides, strengthens our overall cardiovascular system, increases energy and strength, and alleviates pain and inflammation. And just take a look at some of these amazing slides here before the Ningxia Red Blend and after the Ningxia Red Blend. Our blood becomes more oxidized and sticky with age. As our blood tends to clot faster, our risk of heart attack and stroke increases. Some high antioxidant foods are the most effective means of reducing this stickiness in our blood. So how do we just really just nourish, support, and strengthen our cardiovascular health? Again, we really believe that it's very, very important that each of us make a long-term commitment to our health. So first of all, if you're brand new listening to this webinar tonight, step one is going to be to enroll and receive your own wholesale membership with Young Living. Okay, so how do we do this? Here's a first example. A first example is going to be to use your Ningxia Red Starter Collection. This is going to give you four liters of Ningxia Red, ten bonus travel packs, a bonus of lavender oil, a bonus of peppermint oil, a $40 off coupon for any Young Living diffuser, and you will receive 24% discount on all future Young Living products. This wholesale price for this membership collection is $185, and I do know that there is a great savings from what you would purchase if you bought these individually. Step two, 
we would like to encourage you to enroll in your 90-day cardiovascular health essential rewards program. Now the benefits are that Young Living loves to, to um, bless you for making that commitment to your health. You will earn between 10 to 15 to 20 percent in free products on each shipment that goes out. You will enjoy reduced shipping, discounted pricing on exclusive product packages, and you will never run out of products to ensure your 90-day cardiovascular health plan is a great success. And now let's move into step three. Here are some suggestions for your essential rewards order. For example, one bottle of the wonderful Omega Blue fish oil product, one Aroma Life essential oil blend for your cardiovascular, and one MegaCal. Now this order would come to a wholesale price of 107 US dollars, and you would receive 10% rebate on the essential rewards plan which is 10 US dollars. And Young Living just puts this money in a little piggy bank. And after being on it for two months on the program, you can call the company and say, listen, how much money's in my piggy bank? I'd like to get some free products today. And the lady on the phone will help you place your free product order. It's so fun. What would be some other great suggestions for your essential rewards? How about this one? a bottle of Cardia Care, and one essential oil bottle of Cypress. And this comes to $102.50. Once again, you'll have the rebate coming back to you, and so you will be enjoying the wholesale pricing. Now here's another suggestion. One bottle of HRT, one Omega Blue, one Super B, a bottle of clove oil, and a bottle of lemongrass. All of these life-giving supplements for just $103.50. Wow, that's a great essential rewards. I think I'm going to try that this month. So, you know, we really, really strongly encourage you to consider what you eat and what you put in your body. We are great believers on the Essential Oil Healthline that what we do today in the way of what we eat is how we're going to be feeling five years from now. So basic rule, eat smaller portions. Avoid foods with high concentration of saturated fats and trans fats. Drink a tall glass of water, add our essential oil of lemon or any of the uh, wonderful essential oils for flavor. Cut back on sodium use. Use spices such as Juba Spice from Young Living that will give your food that extra taste that you need. Eat only lean cuts of meat. Eat more fresh fruits. Eat more vegetables. You know, vegetables are the builders, you guys. Fruits are the cleansers, and vegetables are the builders in the body. Read our food labels. Become an expert label reader. Cut back on snacking and try a piece of fruit and a tall glass of water. And when you eat, take your time. Eat slowly. Give thanks. Give your body time to digest and your food to register a sense of fullness. Here's some great exercise tips to get us all going. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't try to embark on an overly ambitious exercise program, especially if you've not been exercising regularly. You are likely to be highly enthusiastic in the beginning, but gradually becoming lazy or slacking off because of a lack of discipline or motivation. So let's start on a program that we can be successful with and have a victory with, you know, so you can continue on based on your energy level, your work schedule, and your free time. Nothing gets us off track faster than skipping our planned exercise program. So walking biking, golfing, strength training, yoga, and dancing are all great suggestions to begin your health exercise program.
And while the next slide is coming up, it's really great to exercise with someone and have a buddy partner. It's just fantastic. So now, let's look at some resources that can really further educate us and also please consider using these resources to teach your own small group class on the cardiovascular system. So again, the essential oils desk reference is a must. They will be uh, shortly being shipped to us from ylwisdom.com and this really is your basic essential oil book. If you have nothing else, you want to have this book. Secondly, wonderful resource, Abundant Health for You. It's the, um, it's the source on the Ningxia Wolf Fairy. Also, a great brochure, a large brochure on 15 new discoveries that will stop heart disease and 10 essential oils that will help us with stress relief. Great resources. And then just a few more resources on the next slide. Whoops, I guess we're done with resources. So, welcome to Young Living. Our hearts feel good knowing that others are living happier, healthier lives because of our outreach from our heart to yours. Once again, we are just so grateful that you've taken your time to be with us this evening. And we thank Christina Campbell and Pamela Hyen for this marvelous presentation. And we just really want to encourage you tonight to think of five people that you could touch with this knowledge and to have your own small group. Just, you know, just set a date, call a few friends and sit around your kitchen table and have your own small group teaching this and helping your friends and your neighbors. Christina, any final thoughts? No, I'm just glad to be here, Terry. We did, um, you did a great job, and uh, I want to thank everybody for coming, of course. And maybe if we have a few minutes, um, Pam can read some of the questions, and we can answer. But I am going to go ahead and stop the recording.